We supply energy efficient systems to companies, so anything that saves carbon, cuts footprints um, and more to the point increases companies' profits. Well, I've grown a business from just two guys in a, in a shed with a dog, as it were, to something like 18 staff and a couple of million pound turnover. And I'd never been to school to learn how to be a director of a business. That I'd, I'd become one and didn't know lots of things, so I needed somewhere that would teach me the things I didn't know. Lots of reasons, really. It's like a non-executive board that I don't have to pay for. So I've got 12 very experienced and um, knowledgeable guys who can share the issues and the angst that I might have with my business. And it took me a while to realise that it didn't matter which business you were in, the problems were the same. They just had a different coat on, but the body inside the problem was the same. From a personal point of view, it gives you great confidence and... Because when you're a director and a managing director of a business, you've got nowhere to go. You can't turn around to your staff or your managers and say, uh, I'm worried, I don't know what to do. You join a group like this and you can bring out your own personal issues, if you like, business-wise, as well as some personal issues. I mean, we're quite a, a close, um, close group that you share anything, really, that you want to share. There's no... Nothing forcing you to, but it's nice sometimes to unburden anything from personal issues right through to primarily the business issues. You could argue fiscally it's expensive, um, but it's worth every penny. You get an enormous amount of support. You can go from, it's just the people that people know. Um, so I've had thousands of examples where I've had a challenge on something that I can't resolve myself. I've brought it to the meeting at the, at the end of the month and somebody's just touch the magic button. A, a brief example was I was having no end of trouble with a member of staff. I was trying to coach into being the finance director basically of the business. And this individual had gone to college, had, was on various courses, was growing with the business and just didn't get it and I was getting extremely frustrated so I'd asked the group and they'd gone around the group and ten guys in the group had said well you know send them on another course, send them on to this university, do this, do that, do the other do this, get them coaching, whatever. And one of, the, one of the last guys in the group turned around and said, have you asked the person? I said, ask the person what? He said, have you asked the person? I said, I don't understand. He said, have you asked the person whether they want the job? And I'd assumed this individual would be as ambitious as I was. Therefore, courses and all the rest of it, which they were quite happy to go along with because they wanted to please me, when I asked the direct question very nicely, do you actually want this job? The answer was no. <laughs> So if that doesn't tell you something about the power of the academy, I don't know what does. Okay. And same for me. I mean, on a personal basis, I've gone through a divorce. Guys have been supportive um, just on a personal basis. I mean, even out, out of hours, we meet sometimes and, you know, there's lots that we've done. Had one of the guys has gone near bankrupt and we had sort of like an extraordinary general meeting where we all got together um, and supported him and came up with ideas and were able to... You know, when you're that close to the woods, you can't see the trees. Uh, it's great to have a bunch of guys who are on your side and, you know, pulling for you.